Jordan Marduk score, man? They didn't even play defense on the play. There was straight up no defense in this game. Oh my god, Seattle sucks. <laughs> Oh, all right. Canes win 5-1. We're keeping this one super short. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. Oh, uh, anyways, an absolute dominating game. This one was over pretty much when it started. I don't know, man. The, it's it's almost sad to watch the Seattle Kraken because they were very clearly a... a you know what? Ron Francis isn't even that bad of a GM. He just... I don't know who was around there during that friggin expansion draft but whoever was man did they mess it up and it's not even that they messed it up it's that they also hired a coach that is just terrible in Dave Hackstall like seriously man the team that they put out on the ice is much better than what they perform as it should be way better than that like I'm not saying this is a team that should just be like you know top of the Pacific every year but at the very least, they should be contending for a playoff spot and not just being this beacon of mediocrity. But anyways, let's talk about this game. Um, geez, where do I even want to start? Okay, Svech has two goals in this one. He looked great. The top line looked fantastic. Nate just looked amazing in this one. Freddie was bored through the first two periods and got a little bit of work in period number three. And man, Seattle just looked bad. Like, I kind of can't get over. Like, this was almost like the opposite of the San Jose game where, like, the San Jose game was just boring. This one was just, they dominated from the outset. The good news is you come out of that game with the power play seemingly working. You legitimately have no player that looked bad in that game. Like, the only player you could be like, eh, is... Dylan Colon, Coughlin, or I don't know how to say his name. Is it Coughlin? Colon? Coglin? I have no idea how to pronounce his name. I should go to the Elite Prospects. He's the only player you could highlight in this that seemingly had like a not great game for Carolina. Jalen Chatfield had a great game. Anyways, we're breaking down way too much. Story, the scoring gets started off early. Uh, Ajo throws one from behind the goal line. Jarvis there jams it through. And honestly, I've been up so long i'm confusing the goals i saw at my like local junior a hockey game tonight with other goals from this game i know nate just had the turn and fire svetch apparently had another one that martin up goal like no, there was no defense nobody played defense it's really bumming me out talking about the seattle kraken they should be better anyways let's let's kind of cut it there this was a dominating performance in the summation of this one very good from carolina from start to finish, they got to use their lineup almost fully. This is another aspect. Is San Jose, the San Jose game kind of forced them to shorten the bench toward the end. And then this one, they didn't really have to. You could run Martinuk out there for the last like six minutes of the game almost. Penalty troubles a little concerning. Not too bad, though, in this one. Martinuk took a bad one. Nason, uh, who was kind of invisible in this one, I didn't think he had a bad game. He just really wasn't noticeable. I don't think he played a ton anyways. Uh, but yeah, just otherwise, oh man, I, there's no way to fault anybody in this game. Everybody looked good. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here because it's 10 to 1 AM. it to be work in six hours. So I'm going to wrap it three and to start the season. Very good. Very solid. The team looks really, really good right now. They are gelling. Um, I saw a, this is the last point I'm going to touch on. I saw a, uh, I want to say it was Hockey Viz or Micah McCurdy on Twitter that had a graph <laughs> that was like the the dull and the fun teams. And the, anyways, not to exp for explain it, but basically Carolina was dull fun. And that is very much how I would describe this early season portion. The, the Columbus game, this game, and the San Jose game have been dull fun. Carolina has have had an extreme control on the game, forced the other team to play into that, and have won as a result. So that's where I'm going to wrap it. A very short one here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We will be back on Thursday night. Thank God. It's. I'm pretty sure... Hold on. Is it earlier? 
is it earlier on Thursday? Oh my God, the game starts at it starts at nine p.m. Eastern. Praise be to whoever the schedule makers are. Anyways, I'm just so tired. <laughs> I just want this road trip to be over so I don't have to do this. I get a week's time. I'm gonna be so so happy. Does that one start at ten thirty? 10.30, seriously. Anyways, not looking forward to next Monday. But that is neither here nor there right now. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. How did you think Carolina performed in this game? A huge 5-1 win in St. Uh, what did I nearly say St. Louis? Seattle. They played Seattle. Anyways, again, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.